like I say, Matteo, I'm not, I'm not sure we've ever done this. So if we go back to the the kind of start of your career and being part of a footballing family with your, yeah. your sort of father as a coach at Love, what, what do you kind of remember about that? Was, was football always the, the kind of first thing you can remember sort of dragging you in and, and engaging you as a as a child? Yeah, I think I've always been on the on the football pitch. Like you say, my my dad was like a player coach since he was really young, so since I was born, I see my mum make a point and say, I, I think I was a few a week old or something, or two weeks old, I was already on the on the touchline. Like so, yeah, it's been part of my life like, since since I'm very small. And the half has quite a good reputation, doesn't it, for bringing through players? I think there's sort of Steve Mandanda among others, isn't there? So yeah, we've got more than that. Like, I keep telling the boys. I think yeah, Pogba come from here, Mares, um, Enzo Bia. Um, Lassa Nadjara, we've got loads. I think we've been there uh, right at the, the second academy in France still this year. So uh, it's a very, very good academy, yeah. So, so what was it sort of through? What was it like sort of coming through in, in that environment? It was, it was tough. That's so why I felt like, I, well, as I was saying last year, I felt like I've been professional for a long time. I think from 12, 13 years old, we were training a lot, almost like full time already from a young age. Um, it was very professional from the early doors where. And um, yeah, it's, it's it's a very good academy, good coaching, where um, and faces and that playing football. So yeah, trying to keep it with me. Mm. Was there anything in particular that prompted you to come over and play in the UK to make that that break from France? Um, yeah, from early doors, I think because um, well, academy is like a twin with um, Brighton. So um, I came here a few times when I was when we were very young. So we played a few games against Brighton. A few summers, um, and then yeah, I always went to watch you again with the team when we was there, and I always wanted to to come here. Like, I love um, English football is really big in France. We watch a lot of the Premier League, especially since um, Cantona and Arsenal uh, team, where there was a lot of like, French players. So yeah, it's always a dream of mine. And then um, a year before I came to England, I had the opportunity to um, almost sign for Leeds. Um, and then from then, I just it was massive. The experience I had there was unbelievable. So I just I just thought I want to go back one day, so, and I did. Did you envision sort of staying and settling in England at that point? Well, you never know. Obviously, and that, um, when you don't know, you don't you don't know. Like you, so, till till I come to England, I didn't know what, what to expect on the on the life. But I just I just embraced it straight away. And I just loved it. I met Dave like quite early doors when I got into. Uh, in Bournemouth and it's just a great place to live and I just fall in love with it so that's it I'm stuck here now mm-hmm. and you know you, you were close to, to giving things up last year I mean that, how much are you enjoying the enjoying the extra season how are you feeling about about playing off yeah doing that I'm here I'm competitive I think um, I think there's a bit of a misconception of that um, I've seen a few times people saying oh yeah that, um, when I wasn't playing I've heard uh, oh yeah but it's fine um, he, he got here like he didn't expect to play or it, it was not none of this my decision to um to retire was nothing to do with the fact that the only thing I could I could still play football. Um it was more like a family reason and a uh a, a lifestyle and yeah. But um once I decided to, to go back and compete even uh, I want to play as many games as I as I want. Um, I want to push others um, in four places um, and then when I'm on the pitch I think I, I'm competitive especially in this league I don't feel I still see myself as like, one of the best in my position uh, in this league and it is what it is but, um, but no I'm certainly not oh, just he's not happy to be playing the difference is like I'm my age now when I'm not playing I'm not I'm glad he, I would be glad to help the ones that are playing if that makes sense when, when I was younger it was a bit different but um, yeah, that's it really. How did you find Tuesday coming back into the side? Um, yeah, I think it's just football. Football in there. Once um, once the kickoff is on, and especially at Tuesday nights, like, it's lovely. I like, love playing under the lights, so it was good. I think um, find off it quite well, quite well, and I think we played some some good football. And it was it's quite enjoyable. Um, manager's just been talking to us about Stephen. He has like, lots of long long throws, high balls, of pressure. So. How do you sort of psych yourself up for a game like that when you know you're you're going to get sort of physically tested? Yeah, I think like in this league, you, it's not something we we don't come up against. Like we we've had the same with like um, Sutton was quite similar. So 
we know what, what to expect, we know it not grounds, uh, it's quite tight. So, yeah, just they maybe the youngest lad that have never been there won't, won't know, but I think everyone is prepared for the test. Do you quite like sort of putting your philosophy to the test as a team against a, a side who are so different? Yeah, I think you just you just got to be clever with what you're doing and just not play what, what's there. Like, you don't want to be... Um, maybe some time in the past I've been like, guilty of it where you just you're a bit stubborn and saying no oh, we just uh, whatever we're going to play I think you just got to see what's there and just um, obviously we want to play with our philosophy but you just got to also recognise when it's not when it's not on so we just have to see and um, yeah the mainly we're trying to play our game but we just got to be clever with it as well and how much is coming so close to promotion last season kind of driven is driving you on this season how much is that a motivation just to you know, try and get one more one more taste of it because you've, <laughs> yeah. you've had a few yeah no obviously like um especially we talked like, I still I still remember I still got in my head after the the MK Dons game when we got reggae I said uh, um I want to to be part of of the, the group that brings um, the club back to where it belongs I think so um last year would have been nice but um we go again I think rather than think about this I think we just we've seen the seasons we've been a bit slow to start but we finally all fit slowly and we just not need to keep working and getting better I think we we gain there we can see like some we can see like we're more consistent now and uh, so we just got to be focused like a week at a time to be cliche but season is long and you can't start looking far ahead I think thank you very much